Hi there! The 28th of November is on the calendar and I want to tell you the story of famous quotes of Ridley Candles, whose birthday is today. So let's go! The truth is concrete. The absolute includes the relative. When you look at something that you don't yourself produce, you see the alienation of society in front of your eyes. Friedrich Engels was a German philosopher, political theorist, historian, journalist and revolutionary socialist. He was also a businessman and Karl Marx's closest friend and collaborator. Born on November 28, 1820 in Barman, Prussia, Friedrich Engels' early life laid the foundation for his extraordinary intellectual pursuits. As the eldest son of a wealthy industrialist, Engels led a privileged life, granting him the opportunity to receive an exceptional education. However, his encounters with the harsh realities of the working class and the profound socio-economic inequality that permeated industrialized Europe ignited a fierce passion within him for social justice. The bourgeoisie, by the rapid improvement of all instruments of production, by the immensely facilitated means of communication, draws all, even the most barbarian, nations into civilization. It was during Engels' time in Manchester, England, where he solidified his lifelong partnership with another philosopher, Karl Marx. Their profound friendship forged the intellectual bedrock for their revolutionary ideologies. Engels, driven by his insatiable curiosity, enriched Marx's ideas with his comprehensive understanding of economic and social structures, a fusion that would become the cornerstone of their collaborative work, the Communist Manifesto. Engels had a clear and engaging writing style. His ability to communicate complex ideas in a straightforward manner contributed to the accessibility and popularity of his and Marx's works. Engels financially supported Karl Marx allowing him to dedicate more time to research and writing. This support was crucial for Marx's ability to complete his major works. Engels' contributions to Marx's theory were as brilliant as they were multifaceted. In his groundbreaking work, The Condition of the Working Class in England, Engels meticulously exposed the exploitation of the proletariat in capitalist societies. His meticulous research imbued his arguments with undeniable credibility, solidifying his stature as a thorough scholar driven by unwavering devotion to truth. In the end, the means of production turn against the bourgeoisie. The bourgeoisie itself has conjured up these means of production, and when it reaches a certain stage of development, it cannot manage them any longer. Engels, along with Marx, criticized idealist philosophy, particularly the German idealism of Hegel. They developed dialectical materialism, a philosophical framework that emphasizes the material conditions of society and historical change. Engels' intellectual prowess extended beyond mere economic analysis. In collaboration with Marx, Engels formulated the historical materialist theory revolutionizing our understanding of history. Engels argued that societal progress is a result of the dialectical clash of opposing socio-economic forces and that each stage of history is characterized by a particular mode of production. This influential insight laid the foundation for subsequent Marxist interpretations of history. Engels' keen eye for analyzing socio-economic systems allowed him to expose the exploitative nature of capitalism. In his seminal work, Capital, a Critique of Political Economy, Engels meticulously dissected the workings of capitalism, revealing the inherent contradictions and emphasizing the urgency for its abolition. His compelling arguments illuminated the plight of the working class, leaving an indelible mark on the course of history. Consciousness is, therefore, from the very beginning a social product and remains so as long as men exist at all. Every step of real movement is more important than a dozen programs. Engels played an active role in the International Working Men's Association, also known as the First International. He contributed to its debates and discussions, 
helping to shape the direction of the international workers' movement. After Marx's death, Engels edited and completed the second and third volumes of Das Kapital, Marx's seminal work on political economy. Engels played a crucial role in preserving and disseminating Marx's intellectual legacy. Engels was proficient in multiple languages, including English, French and Italian. His linguistic abilities allowed him to engage with a wide range of intellectual and political ideas from different cultures. Engels served in the Prussian military for a short time, but he was unhappy with the experience. His military service further fueled his anti-authoritarian and anti-establishment sentiments. Due to political pressures and his involvement in revolutionary activities, Engels spent a considerable portion of his life in exile. He lived in various European cities, including Paris and Manchester, and later settled in London. Engels had a long-term relationship with Mary Burns, an Irish factory worker with whom he lived for many years. Their relationship was unconventional for the time and reflected Engels' rejection of bourgeois norms. History is always true and always wrongly interpreted by those in power. Riddick Engels passed away on the 5th of August in 1895 in London. His contributions, along with Karl Marx, laid the theoretical foundation for modern communism. Engels' works continue to be influential in political philosophy, sociology and economics, shaping discussions on class struggle and social change. A statue of Engels stands in Manchester, England, where he worked in his family's cotton mill. The city recognized his historical significance and contributions to social and political thought by erecting the statue in 1987. And that's it for today. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye bye.